Hold up, 97 rated team of the season silver. What is this? 97 rated in the eyes of some of these ultimate team users that look for one stat and one stat only, but we're gonna get into it in just a second. And the funny thing about this is I went into the tournament, got to the final, came against a practically a full legends team, and he ended up putting his controller down after, what was it, 3-0, 4-0? Oh, we're gonna get into it. So if you are needing ultimate team coins, head over to feverultimateteamcoins.com. Links will be found just below in the description. Use the code Fuji, get yourself a discount, or if you are wishing to purchase games, head over to G2A and also use the code Fuji. It is starting to heat up over here. It's a little bit sweaty and I thought I'd match that on Ultimate Team. Look at this left hand side. This is pure filth. It actually is dirty. El Shanrani, 96 pace and then for that overlap, even if you're not needing an overlap because this guy, the 97 rated El Mualat. And you're probably thinking, what is he on about 97 rated? The pace. A lot of people base their assumption off of a player being good just because of the pace. 97 pace El Mualat. This guy is quick. 80 dribbling as well, 80 passing, 73 shot. That's not bad at all. 76,000 coins I paid for him. Seven games, six goals, three assists. And most of them were either in division matches or I went and did a cup run. And you wait until you see the final games like team. It's just crazy. So going through the actual squad, we've got Navas in goal, great keeper. We have Digmaya, Varane, Rami that arguably is the worst player in the side because of his pace, but I wasn't really feeling it at all because you have El Shanrani next to him that is just going to do everything. Like I love how this guy can carry the ball up the pitch and he was actually putting balls through to uh, Lewandowski. So that was crazy. We've got Kroviak in the CDM position. We have this guy. You you can you can try and pronounce his name. I'm going to call him Adrian. He scored uh, three goals in seven games. Not so bad. He's got some really good skill uh, skill moves and weak foot, left footed as well. And yeah, he was, he was actually scoring some really nice goals. So I thought he was great for the coins. Gunawan in the right centre mid position. We also have Costa and Lewandowski in the in the attack. But this guy is why I wanted to build a team because he was 97 pace. I think it looks like a cracking hybrid. Let's get into the clips. So one of the reasons why I made this video today is because I know there are still some silver lovers out there. I know you don't come in numbers, but I, I feel you. I like my silver players. And if you missed my video yesterday on the Fever 17, my new features, you would have seen uh, the actual ideas that I want brought to the game. And it would be fantastic if they did have silver divisions because there's really no point of playing with silver players these days. No one's in the cup. No one's going to really be using them for division matches. So you're kind of stuck. You just have to play single player and hope that someone else is using a silver team if you look at their ratings. But it's just kind of pointless. But with El Mualad, one of the reasons why I did bring him into this side is because of his pace. And it was only that because I forgot that uh, Saudi Arabian players were released with their ALJ League team of the season. So I didn't really pay any attention to it. So I might start like building some squad seeing uh, or well, testing some players out but with this guy yes he is rapid and one thing that I like although his dribbling isn't the best he's very uh, easily able to sort of get inside the box where you're putting your opposition in two minds are you gonna cut back or are you gonna sort of run towards goal and shoot it near post and you have to act on that quickly otherwise if you leave El Mualad to run then he's just gonna basically run past in a straight line and smack it near post and the majority of the time my opponents were making the wrong decision and he was scoring goals so I really like that about him but one of the goals that I did manage to finesse outside the box with it was incredible like his animation was just completely different to anything that I've like known or been used to before he got a lot of whip behind it and it just nestled top corner it was a very very good goal but also a couple of the other players in the team that I was really liking the sentiment as well I didn't really know how to pronounce his name but with the four star skills four star weak fit he was making some really intelligent runs his delivery was good as well I I loved him. Really, really good stuff. And the left back, El Shamrani, this has to be like the quickest attack that I've used in any FIFA. It's just unstoppable at times because even if uh, El Mualad, he runs out of stamina, which wasn't really too often, but if he if he ran out of stamina, then you've got El Shamrani overlapping. It's just crazy. Very, very hard to sort of break down as well. I've actually put down that Rami is the worst player and that is just based on the defense and how a lot of other people would play the game. Like maybe they're wanting people like Koscielny, but for me, he actually he defends quite well. There wasn't really too much wrong with the side. It was 140,000 coins. Four, four and a half stars I've given it. And as you can see, this is uh, the final. And th that was what our opponent was using. It was an incredible side. But it was just building up. Like the team that I was using was just building up really well. Lewandowski was the centerpiece to score goals. You've got skill on the wings. And you've just got a very good base in the midfield. And that's one of the reasons why I like Gunawan so much. Because he can track back, get tackles in. But he's also very attacking. And it's perfect to have that CDM in Krakowiak that scored an absolute banger by the way.
the way, which was uh, phenomenal. Like, he doesn't score too many goals for me, but when he does, I usually, like, hit it outside the box. I don't even know why I take the shots on, but they just end up going in anyway. But yeah, we were dominating this guy, and after a while, he put his controller down, and the last goal is really, really funny. <laughs> it's this one. So he put his controller down, and it wasn't going to go in, and with him not playing, the game actually scored another goal. <laughs> What's that all about? But yeah, guys, that is the team. Let me know if you still use team of the season players, especially silvers. We did, in fact, win the cup, and yeah, it was awesome. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next video. Team out. Peace.